is, for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the day for this bantamweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 22 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Head kick blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Sterling 
gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Picks it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Just unable to quite find that range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch from the clinch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Go back up. Push forward. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful body kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. O'Malley gets touched by that kick to the body. A little single collar tie there. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Big body kick land. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Punch over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Effective punch there by O'Malley. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Big punch from the... Tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Nice kick. Boom! Big jab. Hook shot lands. Oh! That knee. That knee hurt him. Final second to round one. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs. Second round here. Nice leg kick land. Big. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll change his stance. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can.
can take a massive shot. That he lands. Great job. Looking to time that counter kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Sterling. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Sterling goes for the takedown, he misses. Jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Sterling. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. Beautiful takedown land. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. O'Malley's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Sterling's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. transition there. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC. And if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this from happening. You got to get those hands up. You got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. Oh, he just ate a nasty elbow on the feet. Really nice elbow. He does a great job of mixing up all of his techniques. Not only punching and kicking, he's willing to use all eight points of his strike. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent 
allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Sterling gets hit with a kick. Oh, clean entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by the young man. Beautiful punch. Beautiful body kick. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow up. Big head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, straight right. that ended the fight. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shaw. Well, he's smiling. 